Today we're going to be dealing with improper fractions, looking at what they mean and how to turn them into mixed numbers. So let's first of all make sure we all know what an improper fraction is. An improper fraction is a fraction like this one, 5 thirds. And what the key is, is that it has a numerator, in other words the top bit, that's bigger than the denominator, the bottom bit. So 5 is bigger than 3, your top is bigger than your bottom of your fraction, and this then is called an improper fraction. Okay, let's have a look at what 5 thirds means. If we've got a whole that looks like that, to get to 5 thirds, we really first need to see what a third is, and then we need 5 of them. So let's start by looking at a third. To get a third, we've got to cut that whole up into three equal parts, and then each of those will be a third. So now, we don't only want one third, we want five thirds. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five of them. Well, to get five, we're going to have to put in another hole like this. So then we can have one, two, three, four, five thirds. Let's color that in, and it'll look like this. Okay, what does this help us to see? Well, we've got a picture of what five thirds looks like. It looks like this. Can you see immediately that what we have here is one whole? This is one. Ho this here is one whole, and we also have here two thirds. So, in other words, five thirds is equal to a whole and two-thirds. Now obviously we can always draw the picture to see what an improper fraction is equal to, but we'd like to be able to do that cal by calculation quickly and easily as well. So how do we do it? Well, we can see that for every three-thirds we have, we've got a whole. In other words, we're asking ourselves how many threes are there in five? So to get our answer, what we can do is we can take 3 and divide it into 5. To do this, 3 goes into 5 once, and 1 times 3 is 3, so we have a remainder of 5 minus 3 is 2. So 3 goes into 5 once, and we have two little pieces left over. And so that is how we get our answer, 1 and 2 thirds. 3 goes into 5 once, we've got one lot of 3 and 5, and we have two little pieces left over. So 5 thirds is equal to 1 and 2 thirds. OK, let's give you a question to try for yourself. If I've got a hole here that looks like this, I want you to show me what 10 thirds would look like, and then I want you to write 10 thirds as a mixed number. Pause the video, open your homework book, and do it now for yourself. All right, let's check if you got this picture here. For 10 thirds, you need one, two, you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these little thirds. Just looking at that picture, you can then see you've got 1, 2, 3 lots of 3 with one little piece left over. So you've got 10 thirds is equal to 3 holes and 1 third. Let's just make sure that we could do it just without the picture at all to turn 10 thirds into a mixed number we would take 3 and divide it into 10. 3 goes into 10 well 3 times 3 is 9 so it goes in 3 times with just 1 left over so 3 goes into 10 3 times with one third 
left over. Okay, lastly, let's do one totally without pictures. 27 over 5. Can you turn it into a mixed number? Pause the video now and try. Okay, did you do as follows? You've got to take 5 and divide it into 27. 5 goes into 27 5 times, because 5 times 5 is 25. And you have 2 left over. So 27 over 5 is the same as 5 holes and 2 fifths.